It was winter time at Cool School, and Drew and his buddies couldn't wait to go ice skating. Woohoo! Skating's my favorite part of winter. Totally keeping up my no fall record this year. No chance. Don't you remember you fell like 20 times last year? Well, well, what? Ah! I'm okay. Um, there was something wrong with that ice. Alaska, here we come! <laughs> hey, Kay, what do Alaskans order at a restaurant? Um, I don't know. Ice burgers? <laughs> Get it? Ice burger? Well, I thought it was funny. And now I'm gonna make it snow forever! <laughs> no, you're not! Drew sketched a ginormous snowblower to send Jimmy's snow backwards into space! But Jimmy shot Drew's snowblower with ice! Freeze! <laughs> he was frozen solid, kids! Like a popsicle! Sorry, what was that? I can't hear you! But wait, look! Drew was melting the ice from inside with his lightning goggles! But Jimmy Freeze didn't notice because he was too busy being a meanie! It isn't nice to look at people, Jimmy Freeze! Huh? I can't believe you're my brother! Jack Frost helped him throw Jimmy into the sling and they catapulted him into space! See you never, Jimmy! Well, you know what this means. Time for ice skating! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm okay. Kay? Hello? Are you there? Kay? Kay? And suddenly, there he was in the distance. Kay in the flesh. Kay, it's really you. Wait, what is he doing? Kay, it's me, Gerda, your best friend. Stop it. Why is your friend trying to shoot us with frozen arrows? Yeah, that's not very friendly. Guys, that's not Kay. I mean, it is, but he's not himself. He must be under the Snow Queen's spell or something. We have to save him. Jack Frost, just the person I was looking for. Oh, hey, Drew. What brings you way out here? Well, you see, it's supposed to be winter at cool school, but it's hot outside, and that means we can't go ice skating. Uh-oh, I'm sorry, Drew. I've been out sick with a cold. Oh man, colds are the worst. Thanks, Drew, but I don't think chicken soup's gonna cut it. I need some time off. But who's gonna be in charge of making it winter outside? Hate to say it, but my evil twin Jimmy Freeze is the only other guy I know that's good at freezing stuff. Maybe he can help out. I've never worked with a villain before, but if it's the only way to save winter... He was heading towards the evil Snow Queen's palace. Shame seemed like a nice dude. The evil Snow Queen? Yeah, coldest lady in all of Alaska. <laughs> Feel that chill? That's her, all right. Well, she is not gonna lay one icy finger on my friend. Sorry to interrupt. We were just looking for a young girl wearing a blue dress. Usually travels with a small pup named Toto. Hey, you look awfully familiar. Have we met? Uh, I don't believe so. I've got one of those faces, I guess. <laughs> Here, hop in. This will help us get through all the snow out there so we get to the rink faster. Don't move, Kay. On my way. Super Drew melted the snow with his white hot lightning, but more snow kept falling faster and colder. He couldn't melt the snow fast enough. That's it, here I come. Drew flew straight up into the sky like a rocket. Brrr, too cold, ow, 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 ow. Pete has an interesting idea. Huh? Ready for liftoff? Oh, um, is this safe? We're birds! We do this all the time! Relax! Gerda tried to relax, which was hard because, you know, she was being carried over a snowy mountain by a bunch of birds. But once she was brave enough to open her eyes, she saw that it was really quite... Beautiful! Wow! <laughs> Most fun slime ever! How, how fluffy that is! <laughs> And that's how you make snow slime. Okay, I'll need to fly to Nepal and then land on Everest. So I'll draw airplane wings onto my suit. And a jet engine. Oh, and a coat. It's gonna be cold. 
Drew was ready for blast off. He jetted out of school and halfway across the world to Mount Everest. So can you fly or what? Good question. I never tried. What? I know for a fact that humans can't fly and that didn't stop me from trying. I'm fly! Ow. That's how I broke my arm. See, you can still see the scar. <laughs> wow. I know. So anyways, you should totally try to fly. Okay, maybe you should hop off first. Good thinking. Okay, just run really fast and then leap. With no time to spare, Drew skips his awesome snowmobile. You got this, Drew. Whoa! Whoa! I'm coming, Dad! Whoa! Whoa! You saved me, Drew! Ooh, uh, you know, I think I'll just take sleep a little and just... Uh, then I'll go find Kay. Gerda drifted off to sleep and found herself in a crazy dream. She had found Kay, except he was different. He was a prince. Wow, hey Kay. But Kay ignored her. Kay, I came to rescue you. Suddenly, a beautiful woman appeared. She was dressed head to toe in white silk and sparkly crystals. Wow, you're really shiny. <laughs> she bent to give Gerda a kiss on the top of her head. Wow, just like my grandma does. But when the woman in white kissed her, Gerda's hair turned to ice. Okay, not like my grandma. Then Gerda realized she was becoming completely frozen. Kay, help! But Kay looked on as if he didn't even hear her. Kay! <gasps> Scary, I hope Kay hasn't become frozen. Jimmy, freeze! What are you doing here? Well, I saw you kids were just a little too happy, so I brought some mayhem. <laughs> Jimmy Freeze started using his freezing powers to make it super cold. No way! It's winter again! You bet it is, thanks to me. Yep, thanks Jimmy. Never would have gotten winter back without you. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me this was a plan to trick me into bringing back winter. Sure was. You villains don't make anything easy, do you? Just you wait, Drew Pendus. I'll be back and better than ever. <laughs> hmm, if only the snowman could talk. I bet he'd know where Kay went. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. -mm. What's that, Mr. Snow? Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. -mm. Suddenly, I had an idea. Ah, <sighs> finally, something other than that carrot nose. You know, I can't even smell out of that thing. This guy looked exactly like Jack Frost, except he had a funny little beard and he wore a black leather jacket. My evil twin brother! That's right, kids. It was Jimmy Freeze! Jack Frost's evil twin from another dimension. He looked like Jack, but instead of nipping at your nose and leaving pretty little ice crystals on your window, he did mean things. Yeah, I'm the guy who makes the playground all icy, so you can't go out for recess. <laughs> So now I'm lost too. Just add that to the list. I'm cold, I'm hungry, I'm sad, I'm scared, and I'm lost. <laughs> Maybe we can help. The prince and princess invited Gerda to spend the night. And I don't know if you've ever spent a night in a palace, but it was pretty nice. There was delicious food. <laughs> Big warm beds near cozy warm fireplaces. And in the morning, the prince and princess gave Gerda her very own golden carriage and a beautiful white horse. They gave the toucan a warm vest and a tiny fur cap. Drew trekked up the mountain looking for signs of a yeti. He looked to the left, he looked to the right, he looked up, he looked down. Aha, now I've got you, Mr. Yeti the Abominable Snowman. I need a giant net so I can capture him. A netty for the yeti. <laughs> With his net in hand, Drew followed the tracks. Hey, the footprints stop here. That must mean... Ah! Ah! Burr! Sure is cold out here. Good thing I packed my winter coat. <coughs> what? It's not real. Dad, look out! Oh, oh no, Burr! That was scary. What a day. First, I'm gonna need an awesome looking snowsuit and something to melt snow, like lightning. Yeah, I designed these goggles to shoot lightning bolts. 
Cool. Now I'll just add a rocket fueled snowboard that can fly and boom. Winter, say hello to Super Drew. Hey Elsa. Anna. Oh, do you want to play outside? Always, you know me. Ah, Anna, ah, Anna, Anna, ah, Anna, ah, Anna. Ah, I'm going to get him. Can you tell Mom and Dad? Snow, snow. Whoa. It's not supposed to snow yet. It's only November. I'm obviously trying to play outside here. Suddenly, it became a blizzard. Brr. Now have you gone too far, Winter? I want fall. Drew is at cool school learning all about Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth. As he listened, he doodled pictures of himself climbing to the top of the mountain, where he would yell stuff like, Hey, I can see your bald spot. <laughs> and then listen for the echo. I can see your bald spot. <laughs> and then ski all the way down, setting the world record for the fastest skiing ever. When Gerda and their friends stepped out of the woods, they stopped, stunned. The palace was huge and sparkly, as if it were covered in a million diamonds. Trees were covered in shimmering icicles, and ice sculptures of animals dotted the land for as far as the eye could see. These are amazing. They look so real. Drew flew over the snow clouds to the tip top of the highest mountain. He spotted the culprit. It was Jack Frost. How's my breath? <gasps> You're just saving his life, remember? Not getting married. Yeah, yeah, 